That sounds still bad. Why am I? Why? 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 Hey guys, so today's video is a little bit different than normal. I wanted to do a Hawaii fish catalog. I saw a really cool video. If I can find the original one I watched, I'll try and link it below. Uh, but I found this really cool video that was a basically like a underwater safari. Um, and so a couple of snorkelers went out into the water and they filmed or photographed however many uh, species of fish that they could find and we're naming the species off um, and I thought not only would that be a really great way for me to learn a little bit more about the species of reef fish that we have here in Hawaii but also for you guys and so I wanted to do the same creating this video has been a little bit of a pain in the butt uh, it took a lot of editing because I wanted to input a little bit about each of the species and also just um, like the name and things which takes more time but also when I was first editing it, I got like a third of the way and then my computer restarted and I had to restart all the editing. So it's been taking me a little bit longer than I'd like, but I did want to continue to do this. This will definitely just be a part one. There are so many different fish species that live on the coral reefs here in Hawaii and there is no way that I could get all of them in the same video. So today is part one. Hopefully next time I go out and dive, I can get some more footage of the species that I missed and add that so that we can have a part two. Uh, but let me know if you guys like this video, if you want me to continue to make sort of species, fish catalog, ocean safari type stuff. Um, I'm more than happy to hop on and teach a little bit about marine life. So let me know if this is something you're interested in. Uh, but with that, we will go ahead and move on to the fish. <laughs> This is a subadult nasotang or a pair of subadult nasotangs. They are a reef species that is a herbivore, so they typically feed on algae. These guys are subadults and they will get darker as they age. It's hard to see, but there are a few female Christmas wrasse hanging along this ledge. They're named that because they're predominantly red and green in color. They eat crustaceans, mollusks, and brittle stars. This red slate pencil urchin are amazing. The Hawaiians actually used to dry out the spines and use them to write. Uh, the spines on this urchin are not sharp and they're not poisonous. The blue black urchin, while it's beautiful, is extremely pointy and sharp. And it has internal spines that have nematocysts on them, just like a jellyfish that can actually sting you. The white spotted surgeon fish is normally finding its home in the surge zone. The white bar surgeon fish is similar to the white spotted surgeon fish. They're often found in the same general area along with the convict tang. This is a subadult black trevally. I often call them jacks. Uh, a lot of times you can find these guys hunting in unison with octopus in the area. The four spot butterfly fish is relatively common in Hawaiian waters. It feeds on hard coral, so this is the perfect habitat for it. The next clip has a few different fish species that were all feeding off the coral in this similar area. The first is the orange bar surgeon fish, followed by the peacock grouper, which is an invasive species in Hawaii, and then the raccoon butterfly fish, which was my favorite growing up. Convict tangs are one of the more common species that you see on the Hawaiian reef. They're often in schools feeding on the algae and surrounding coral. The unicorn fish are seen here in a school. The horn actually doesn't have any purpose that we know of, but they do have blades on the back base of their tail uh, that are used for both um, protection and predation. Here you can see a school of yellowfin goatfish. Often here in Hawaii, you see them in shallow reef areas or along sandy bottoms. The classic symbol of Hawaii, the Hawaiian green sea turtle, it's one of the most beloved species here on the Hawaiian Islands and is super special.
These are Hawaiian chubs. Uh, they actually do have a yellow morph that I saw on this dive but couldn't capture on camera. But they're super cool, very common here on Hawaiian's reefs. Yellow tangs are a gorgeous reef fish. They're often becoming more rare here in Hawaii as they're stolen off the reef for the aquarium trade. The pink tail triggerfish is a carnivore. All triggerfish have a trigger at the base of their head that they're able to use for predation and protection. The spotted porcupine fish is one of the three to four different species of porcupine fish that we have here in Hawaii. It's indicated by all the little polka dots along its body. These guys are super cool and do puff up when intimidated. And lastly, the day octopus, one of my favorites. They're super cool and hang along the reef. They are carnivores and often feed on small fish or snails, mollusks, and cowries along the reef. So that was part one of our Hawaii coral reef fish species catalog, AKA ocean safari. Uh, but I took all the footage myself. Fish for me are very challenging to film, at least up close enough to where you'd actually be able to identify the species enough with the features. So I apologize if any of the footage is a little iffy. Fish like to run away from divers majority of the time. Uh, so. They weren't giving me the easiest time filming them, but I hope that this helps you if you ever do decide to go out and snorkel Hawaii's reefs. Uh, I will hopefully be making a part two here soon if this is something that you guys are interested in, something that you like. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more marine life, fish ID, uh, sort of ocean safari type videos, let me know. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite species was, what you thought was the most uh, beautiful species. Um, but yeah, that's today's video and I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!